There are several ways, uh, you know, when people describe home, I think some people uh, say that home is where they have memories, where they have loved ones, where they have stories uh, and history, right? And I totally, you know, uh, I see that and I understand that. Other people think of home in a more pragmatic way. Like home is the place that offers you the most. It's the place where you feel the most comfortable. And I've always thought that home for me has always been the place you would like to contribute to without having to justify it. The place you wish well for. And I think it's a dynamic concept. You know, it can, uh, I mean, you can think of your immediate family and you, you keep expanding that idea of home and it can include the whole universe because at the end of the day, I do wish well for the whole universe, right? And, uh, and I think this concept of home, like I said, is dynamic. It changes over time. And I think the more you feel at home in a variety of places, the richer life you lead because you're able to, uh, to communicate with the, with the different communities. You can, you can contribute. And, uh, and I, again, home is the place I would like to contribute to. And home within, in that context, is actually the way Kivork and I, and of course with the Silicon Ensemble, are trying to contribute to the communities around us, uh, especially in a time of crisis and uncertainty. Uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, home within, yes, it was triggered by what's going on in Syria, but I think the more we do it, the more we realize that actually the Syrian tragedy is not only uh, concerns the Syrians. It's actually, it's a, it's a global tragedy. And there are other tragedies also that continue to happen. So home within, within this concept of home is a way to, to channel what, how we feel collectively about a variety of issues. Uh, and by doing that, we're contributing to the concept of home.